Welcome back viewers. I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to Health Concern Channel. In today's video, we will be talking about how your body heal cuts and wounds. But before we begin kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Did you ever had a paper cut how badly did it hurt? Paper cuts can make even the strongest of us crumble. Luckily our body has an amazing way of healing itself. Ever thought about it well, let's do that today. In today's video we'll be talking about how your body heals cuts, what are the four stages of healing? What scabbing, at what step is your healing complete, how much time does it take, we'll be talking about all of these and more stages of wound healing. When you fall or have an accident you get a wound on your body depending on the severity of the injury. It can be a deep cut or an abrasion even a cut made while you're under surgery is considered a wound of course. Leaving your wounds open would not be good for your body as it'll lead to infections. While there are band-aids and other methods you can use to close them up. Your body itself has a complex way of healing. There are four stages to this process. Number 1. Stopping the bleeding homeostasis. When you have a cut or any other wound you obviously start to bleed. The first step is to stop the flow of blood. Your body does this by clotting the blood within a few minutes. The length of time it takes all depends on the severity of the wound normally a blood clot is not a good thing but this is the kind of clot that makes sure there's no blood loss. Did you ever hurt yourself, how was the healing process, how long did it take? Share your experiences with the community in the comments below. Number 2. Scabbing over or clotting. With this stage the blood vessels get narrow around the wound this is one of the reasons why the bleeding stops. Once done the clotting cells called platelets form together and plug the wound. This clotting process involves a particular protein called fibrin. This is basically glue for your blood. The fibrin forms a net so that the plug made by the platelet stays on your wound. As a result you now have a scab. The next thing is inflammation which is where the cleaning and the healing takes place. The area may look red and swollen it may even feel warm but that just means your body is working on the area. Fresh blood means there's more oxygen and nutrients to help the healing of the wound. You also get the help of white blood cells to ensure there's no infection. These white blood cells also help repair the wounded part. If you see clear fluid around the wounded area there's no reason to panic. It's just your white blood cells doing their job. Looking for answers in all the latest health and wellness news hit that subscribe button. And join our followers, stay up to date on all of our great health concern content. Number 3. Rebuilding. Once the wounded area has been cleaned up and closed, your body will begin the process of rebuilding. If red blood cells that are rich in oxygen help create new tissue in the area. Signals from your body tell the cells around the wounded area to make collagen. Collagen is an elastic tissue that helps repair the skin on the wounded area. Essentially it's like a scaffolding in a construction zone. During this phase you'll see a red scar in the area you don't have to worry though the scar will eventually fade and become flat over time. Number 4. Maturation. Once the above stages are complete you might think the healing is done but that's not the case. Even after the wounded area is closed your body is still continuing the process of healing. You'll feel a bit of tightness in the wounded area. It might look pink as well this is just your body strengthening the wounded area. Time to heal, the time it takes for your body to heal a wound depends on how severe the wound is. If the wound is bad enough it may take years to heal. All the way it goes without saying that a closed wound heals faster than an open. One expert suggests that most wounds heal completely after three months the new skin that forms over the wound is usually about 80 as strong as the skin before the injury. If you have a large wound it usually heals faster if you get a doctor to treat it, this is one of the reasons why surgery wounds heal quicker. Doctors know exactly what to apply to your incision. Experts estimate surgical wounds fully heal within 6 to 8 weeks. Poor healing according to experts about 6.5 million people in the United States have wounds that are not healed well. 
there are quite a few reasons why this happens even age can be a factor. Elderly people usually find it much harder to treat their wounds. There are some health conditions that can slow down the healing process diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, and heart disease are among some of the examples. If you have a chronic wound the chances of the area healing is very low. Your best bet is to go to a specialist treatment if you have a wound that's not healing quickly. You can try some treatment methods that can help your body along. Medication is one of the more common methods to help your blood flow improve. Therapy will also bring down the swelling. Another treatment method is wound debridement. This is when dead tissues are removed from the wound area so that it can heal at a faster rate. You can apply some special ointments to speed up the process. Tying a bandage around the wound will also help it heal faster. Signs of infection. One of the reasons your wound could take longer to heal is because of an infection. When the wounded area gets infected your body spends all of its time just cleaning and protecting the area rather than closing it up and rebuilding it. You might get an infection in your wounded area due to bacteria, fungi or other germs. These harmful particles are able to get inside the body before it's completely closed. There are certain signs you can look out for to determine if you have an infection. The first sign is your wound taking a long time to heal. It may not be healing at all. Swelling and redness are other indications of an infection. If there's pain or tenderness in the wounded area it could be because of an infection. The same goes for a warm or hot touch. If you see pus flowing out of the wounded area it's a definite sign of an infection. Usually you can clear the infection by cleaning the wound as soon as you can. You can also use antibiotics to help your body fight it off. If you're not into medication you can try ointments with antibiotics in them. Another way to ward off infection is to remove the dead tissue around the wound. But the most important thing to do when you have an infection is to go see the doctor. They will give you the appropriate treatment method so that you don't face any further health complications even if it's just a small cut it's best to check with your doctor. Did you know about the four stages of healing before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now.